All right, caught on video tonight. Police around Davis County are looking for this guy right here. It's a great shot who they believe has struck multiple gym parking lots in that area. It only takes seconds for him to break in and get away. New specialist Mike Anderson talked with the owner of the car who captured that crystal clear video. We don't see video like this very often, do we, Mike? Yeah, not a whole lot. You know, when uh, Sherry Seach's uh, Tesla uh, is, the, is what captured the, the images, and now uh, Clinton police has put out some of those images trying to hopefully capture the suspect there. But uh, as you look closer at the video, it appears that there are actually two people involved there uh, quickly moving through the parking lot, uh, coordinating their approach. You can see the man casually pacing, making sure no one's looking before he uses some kind of a tool to break apart the glass. It only takes about 20 seconds before he's able to grab a purse and be on his way. I was so angry and so disappointed. Sherry Seach says at first she didn't realize what happened Monday morning outside this Vasa gym until her sister-in-law grabbed her attention. And I'm like, what? And I turned and looked and I'm like, oh, he tried to get my car too because that's when I saw the, the break in it. The thief left a pretty big mark, but apparently the Tesla's windows are really tough. You can see the guy try several times with no luck. Good thing because Seach's purse was in there too. Oh, I so learned that lesson. Bad on my part, really bad. She won't do that again. Mm -hmm. uh, Police see the man burglarized three vehicles there, but looking through the video, there appears to be another person involved. You see this car scanning the area, and moments before this happened, a woman pulling right up to Seach's car and leans in to see what's inside. I was so sad that somebody had to just, you know, just be ruthless to steal somebody else's stuff. The video was making the rounds on social media shared by Seach's husband and Kaysville police, hoping to warn people before they get a chance to do it again. You do have valuables that you can't lock up, put them in your trunk so that people can't see them. And, of course, if you recognize anyone in that video there, uh, Clinton police here would like to hear from you. Uh, detectives also believe that that same pair has hit gyms in Syracuse and Clearfield. Back to you. Yeah, it'd be great if they could catch those guys. All right, Mike, thank you.